Hi everybody, Christy here from Trust Christy. And today I want to talk about what's in my bag. Now this is funny because my husband happened to be home today and I asked him if he would like to go to Costco with me. Woohoo! But anyhow, we had a little bit of time before we were going to go and I happened to be looking at YouTube and up came these videos from Vogue magazine where they ask famous people, what's in your bag? Helen Mirren, Jane Fonda, a whole laundry list of people. Oh, it was really kind of fun. So anyhow, um, I thought it would be interesting for you to see what I have in my bag. And you can look at your own bag. Now, I have a ton of purses, but I seem to be the type of person that likes to just stick to one bag at a time and it really kind of pains me to have to switch it out i don't know i don't know what that is about me but it says a lot about you with what's in your bag so i'm going to dive into this well first of all th this has been my bag of choice for um pretty much through the winter and into the spring and i actually got this bag like a year ago from one of my favorite boutiques in Loveland called Alley Boutique. And um, gosh, I forget the name of the brand of this, but I will try to find it and I'll put it in the description box below. But anyhow, so what I liked about it was that it had this nice thick strap but it also has a longer one. So if you wanted to wear it cross body, you could do that. And it's a little bit bigger than what I normally am used to, but that seems to be the style. So I went for it and, and that's what I do. So here in the front pocket, that's where I would normally have my phone, which I'm using to film this. And I also then have a coupon to Costco, which I took with me that I didn't use. That happens all the time because I don't normally go to Costco. Anyhow, I will eventually use it, but I stuck it there so that I would see it. I still didn't see it. Anyhow, and then the only other thing I have is my key fob, okay? So I keep that right there in the pocket so that I can always get in and out of the car with no problem. All right, so that's that front pocket. And now for the other things. Okay, let's see. Now, pretty luckily, I had just recently kind of cleaned this out. So it's actually in the best possible condition that it's normally in. But I have hand cream because I have not been going to the nail salon since January, I decided I was really going to um, try to stay at home and um, do just essential errands and things, and I felt that the nails were not. So every chance that I get, I try to uh, put a little hand lotion on my cuticles and, and try to keep them in pretty good shape. I know I'm going to give in pretty soon and go ahead and get them professionally done. But in the meantime, I have this. Okay. Now, next, what I'm going to do is this. Okay. This is the magic thing in here because what's left in here are some bank envelopes that have some cash in it. And that's it. That's it. Nothing nothing else oh there's the key okay nothing else so i'm gonna put that aside and we're gonna look at at what i have here okay what can i say your breath you now know what your breath is like with these darn masks so i have some kind of mint gum constantly in my purse to help that okay so gum and um i wear glasses so these are my sunglasses in a protective case so that the lenses stay nice pack of tissues 
I carry two of these that have my um, important cards, driver's license, insurance cards, credit cards, and other miscellaneous things um, that I have that I think I'm going to use, gift cards and so on, in these two little things. Okay, and then in the very bottom, I have a pen and I have a comb and oops I have one of these things that you use to clean your glasses okay so those little microfiber cloths okay I don't think there's anything else there no but there are pockets in this little thing so of course the nail file has to go along with the hand cream and you know some you always get a hangnail of some kind when you're out and about okay then i have coupons for the grocery store and some other gift cards that i like to have in front of me just to know that as a reminder that i need to use them because lord how many gift cards do you have that you've never used? I think that's a, a shame. All right, so that's for that. Then the makeup part, and this is what I have. Now I did a get ready with me, so you know that my favorite lipstick is the Wet n Wild uh, 527B. Okay, so I have that and I have my CoverGirl um, concealer. So I carry a tube of that. And then I have some miscellaneous other things. This is Lano Lips and it's a um, tinted lip balm. And I also have a, a much better lipstick from MAC. And Another lipstick, this is a Maybelline that's a, called Pink Thrill. I always try to get something close to this Wet n Wild. And this one is called Pink Peony. And this one is from L'Oreal. So I have one, two, three, four lipsticks and a lip balm. And then I also have this lip protector. So when I go on my walks, I like to protect my lips. And this has an SPF 15. This is from Golden Door Spa out in California. Floss, uh, it's always used when I'm out and about and never fails. You eat something and it's stuck in your teeth and looks terrible, okay? So I have that. And um, I'm a Tylenol girl, so I always carry a little vial of Tylenol. And last but not least is a mirror. Now in this pretty, this I picked up in New York at CVS and I just love it. So, you know, everybody needs a little mirror to check things out up close. And that's that, that's, my purse, that's what I have in my purse and what I carry along. So when I have the opportunity to switch out my purse, I always think, oh my gosh, what am I gonna take? What is essential, what do I need? And it never fails that if I switch it out and I'm out and about and I go for like the Tylenol and I've left the Tylenol in my regular purse and it is so, therefore I just always just grab that purse and I try to make it work. So what does this tell about me? Well, it tells me that I'm somewhat organized, that um, I like my hands to look nice, that I also like my face and lips to have a fresh coat on them, even when I'm out and about, that my essentials are here and that I'm looking to maybe save a dollar here or there. I'm willing to do that. 
and also um, you know carry a little cash just in case that's kind of old-fashioned but you know that's a reflection of my age and um, and that is about it about what's in my bag so take a look at your own bag and um, share with us with the rest of us in the comments uh, what it is that you have in your bag and uh, of course I probably would have had a little container of hand sanitizer in there but I uh, just ran out of that and I always get the little ones from um, Bath and Body Works plus I always have one in the console of the car as soon as I get back in the car I always go to the bigger one and anyhow so that would be the only thing that I would say that I would normally have in my purse that I didn't have today so Anyhow, I hope you thought this was fun. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing. And um, if you would like to make a comment, I'd love to hear what you have to say. And also, if you want to share this with others, that would really, really help me a lot. And I really appreciate it. So thank you so much. And I want everybody to enjoy their day and take care. So until the next time, bye-bye.